Good evening, Canon users. This is Steven here, and we're back for another technical analysis piece. This week, we're looking at GB Sciences, which has been in the news lately. Uh, they have the Nevada Grow, where they do a lot of micro propagation, uh, you know, keeping their new generations of cannabis sterile, which is uh, very important and, and on the cutting edge of what a few companies are doing internationally. Uh, and they have some, some contracts signed in Louisiana, so they're growing cannabis for the state there in partnership with LSU uh, and have recently signed some agreements with pharmacies. Uh, so some interesting goings-ons for, for GB Sciences. But I want to take a, a closer look at the pricing chart with you now to, to show you some, some momentum indicators as well as uh, talk a little bit about timing and when to get in and out of trades. Uh, so let's jump over to the pricing chart now. <clears throat> You'll see we're looking at GB Sciences, uh, again on the OTC, again looking at the Haken Ashi. Uh, really easy to see trends up and down, positive and negative here with the green and red markers. Uh, and we're at about 38 cents right now, so, so not too bad for GB Sciences. If I zoom out, there has been quite a bit of volatility, up highs of 42, lows of 27, um, so, so a lot of movement here. Uh, and again, we're showing the chicken oscillator, uh, which we all know is a momentum indicator that measures the accumulation distribution line of the MACD, which is the moving average convergence divergence. Uh, and we're also showing the CCI, which is the commodity channel index. Again, you'll remember the CCI below negative uh, 100 uh, is an indicator of, of being oversold, as well as above 100, positive 100, an indicator of being overbought. Uh, and so let's line these things up. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see when we have periods where we cross over positive 100, we have growth. Uh, when we have periods where we're oversold, uh, below negative 100, we have price changes going down. So pretty clear correlations there. I'll line it up with the uh, chicken again here. So a positive cross above 100. And look what the chicken does. It crosses zero and into positive territory, mirrors the pricing chart. So these momentum indicators are important to confirm your trends, but what's really important for us, it's when to get in and out of a trade. So you can use the CCI as a leading indicator too to help you time when you get out and you get into the trades. But you can also use the chicken. Uh, and I'll show you a nice example of that that, that just happened. Um, but what we're going to look for here is not only the crosses, but the changes in slope. Uh, so as we look at the chicken recently, just a couple days ago, we had a positive, positive slope getting littler, and then right here, zero slope, which then turns negative. So at this peak, uh, that's an indication of a changing trend, right? We have a changing slope, changing trend. On that peak is actually the peak of the pricing chart. Uh, a, a big movement there, but that's pretty much the end of the upward movement. Uh, look what happens as the chicken comes back down and, and will approach zero. Uh, you know, I'm going to expect this pricing chart to continue to come down. Our over our period of uh, being overbought with the CCI is now concluded. We've crossed below 100, uh, and we're going to watch for this to drop as well uh, and, and enter a period of oversold. Uh, so watch for changes in slope, as shown right here with the chicken. Uh, and remember to do the same thing on the negative. Right here we had a change in slope. Uh, and look what happens if I correlate up. It's the day before our huge price increase. Uh, so use some of these indicators as leading indicators to tell you when to get in and out of a trade, uh, not just momentum indicators. They're, they're pretty helpful. Uh, in a lot of ways. So continue to add them to your arsenal uh, and happy trading. Thanks for visiting uh, and check out canon.com for more insights. Bye-bye.